have 50,000 subscribers. I'm not ignorable anymore. You are suffering on levels you may not even be uh, cognizant of. You're psychologically disturbed. I'm a woman, my dude. So am I not allowed to be your psychologist? Kind of really hurt my feelings. Are you okay with me helping you? Who doesn't love a damsel in distress story? Who doesn't want to be the knight in shining armor saving the princess in distress? Anyway, this is Aiden Paladin. This all started in December when she was one of many who came forward to claim I had doxxed her, being one of the main accusers in the drama that resulted in me being shut down. Don't even She's the sweetest daft sociological artist I've fucking, fucking met. And I said, you don't understand. Yes, I did. She fucking I broke down in tears in that fucking stream while you fucking bully talk. No, she wasn't fucking fake crying. And she is in the proud position of being the first person of accusing me of having doxxed her on a Worski stream with many tears and desperate calls for help. Be aware that there was a channel in some Kraut's related server that at least was, from my understanding, um, designed to collect dox on me. What? And her white knights answered the call and came to her rescue. And you guys all, like, you know, piled up with her and drank it in. You fucking enjoyed it. You laughed at her. Now that's, like, a really fucking big deal. But the fact that they took such glee in it, it's the worst fucking thing. It's the worst fucking mentality. It shows really where this is all coming from. The pathetic insecurity of them not understanding anything about science and lashing out at anybody who does. And how can you, for a fucking moment, take glee in that? Now, Aiden Paladin is not a bad person. She's a woman. She's over-emotional. She makes mistakes. She's not a bad person. I have never seen a group of men take so much pride in having a woman wear their balls on a necklace, and it was really important for her to keep that narrative that I had doxxed her going. I was crying because I thought I was going to lose my job. Here's the um, rumors that they have started about me. One, that I faked the suicide attempt. The funny thing is that I think that they say that they have my medical records. The accusations continued for months upon months upon months on Twitter and on streams and elsewhere, making sure to tweet at those bigger than her to ensure they would condemn me for doxing her. Funny, when keeping in mind I wasn't even on the internet anymore. And then, out of nowhere, this. Hey guys, um, I know you might not know this, but like, there's been kind of a weird thing going on on Twitter between me and Devil's Advocate, somebody who I've always supported on YouTube and who I would very much suggest that you also subscribe to. Uh, however, I do want to point out that he is in no way and has been in no way responsible for the doxing that happened to me. He is a cool guy or anyone else that was doxed uh, during things that happened a couple months ago. He's a completely cool dude. Please do not blame him. Uh, Additionally, I would like to point out that Kraut himself did not dox me. Kraut himself did not dox me in any way. My dox is on some server and whatever shit happened, you know. You get the fuck over that. You get the fuck over that. You get the fuck over that. <sighs> My point would be, everything's cool now. We're all good. We're all good. But some of that shit still goes on. Just be aware that Kraut did not dox me, um, nor did Devil's Advocate. They're both fine as far as I'm concerned, particularly Devil's Advocate did not do shit. Outside of that, uh, yeah, be aware because I think I'll have a video out, probably not tomorrow, but the next day. It will be on um, kind of the complexities of <laughs> uh, how the whole thing with Parkland is working out. It's called the CNN effect, but I think we could actually probably potentially call it the Parkland effect at this point. So we'll get into that, and I hope that you enjoy. Thanks, guys. See you soon. Bye. Out of nowhere, a non-apology. Before she did that, there were some tweets she made saying that she never accused me of doxing her, even though the previous statements still existed. Even better, tweets in which she claimed people were making up that she had accused me of doxing her 
to frame her. When that didn't work, she made that pathetic non-apology for her Twitter. So what happened? Did I dox Aiden? She spent seven months claiming that I did before she made that silly retraction. And if I didn't, well, who did? Well, do you remember how she also claimed I got her fired? I was crying because I thought I was going to lose my job. Now that claim that I got her fired might give you an idea of why she keeps making such claims. Two weeks before she claimed I got her fired, she posted on her patron that she had reached her patron goal of $1,200 a month and therefore quit her job herself. But that did not deter her brave white knights. After all, a sinister schemer like myself could probably, I don't know, probably travel back in time to get her fired. I also apparently have the miraculous power of inflicting bodily harm upon helpless whammon through the internet. I can't walk though anymore. I don't mind talking about it anymore. It's fine. Everybody knows. Okay. It's fine. Okay, I'm sorry I didn't. I, and I, uh... Oh no, it's, it's cool, it's cool. It's like, uh, actually, you know what it was? Is that like, the crowd shit? It probably triggered some kind of, um, I got so nervous. It, it most likely triggered um, some uh, autoimmune disorder. So they're still trying to figure out what the fuck it is. They ruled out ALS, but not uh, primary lateral sclerosis. So it could still be another different uh, weird thing. Whatever, I can't walk. I honestly didn't even know how to address this initially, but I believe I have found the way. I have crippling autism. How the fuck can you beat someone into a wheelchair through the internet? How fucking brain dead do you have to be to believe it? How can she claim I doxed her for several months on stream after stream after stream and tweet after tweet and claim that I got her fired only to suddenly make a little Twitter video that all this wasn't true? And who the fuck doxed Aiden Paladin? Well, if you try to find out who doxed Aiden Paladin, many people apparently doxed Aiden Paladin dozens from what I've seen. At least she accused a lot of people of doxing her. She accused Snowhawk775 of doxing, Drolasta, Pascal LaRue, Devil's Advocate, me, Destiny, my friends, David Sharrett, Harmful Opinions, Sarah Shitposts, Mikey W, Kevin Logan, and many more. Kevin Logan is special. She also accused him of getting her fired a few months after I had supposedly gotten her fired, and even a few more months after she announced that she had quit her own job because she could live off patron. Kevin Logan has the power to travel almost a year into the past to get her fired. Luckily, a special knight in armor, Cognitive Fort, rose to the occasion to protect her from that evil time-traveling potato, but also to take her to task. We're talking about Kevin Logan, the guy who wants to keep women in STEM fields and at the same time is completely kicking you out of a STEM field, essentially. Like all these little I'm not Well, I am, I am not technically in a STEM field. I'm in a, I'm social science, so... Oh, it's, well, yeah, it's social. But he is kicking a woman out of a science. I, I, am, I am. A few moments later. The shit. I, I didn't oh, mean don't, to lie yeah, to you. Don't worry about it. So it's going to happen. A true, great, and inquisitive mind. So did all these people dox? Did all these people dox her? How can you be doxed at different times by different people? Isn't at some point the information just out there? How can this exceptional, sweetest daft sociological princess get doxed so many times by so many different people? I don't know. But there happens to be this massive weird coincidence, which I guarantee you must only be a coincidence. That being that all these people happen to coincidentally disagree with Aiden on a topic when she accused them of doxing her. For example, Dralasta caught one of her brave unit knights editing down the number of Holocaust victims on Wikipedia to fit the lowered number she had in her video. Quote, death camps. I didn't find any evidence of Dralasta doxing her, but she must have because the sweet daft sociological princess said so. And what Dralasta found at the time, that just was a coincidence. So who doxed Aiden Paladin? Which nasty scheming creature amongst all those accused had the audacity to commit this horrendous crime against the daft sociological princess? Well, I decided to do the investigating to help her poor, helpless, directionless eunuchs who, confronted with so many potential evildoers, didn't even know where to start or just hacked at all of them. And I found the evil schema. I found the sinister culprit who doxed Aiden Paladin. The doxer, the evil doxer who doxed Aiden Paladin is Aiden Paladin. She revealed her own identity on a stream she hosted two years ago. Okay. Um, um, all right. Let's place my watch. A stream during which she flashed her meds across the screen, thereby revealing her name that was written on the pill bottle. Yeah. 
That simple. Nobody ever doxed Aiden Paladin and she knows it. She revealed her identity herself on a live stream that she hosted. Aiden Paladin has been around for quite a while in fact and many people don't even seem to know where and when she came from. I always knew her as the girl who was doxed by Destiny. At least that's what she kept saying until I watched that stream where it supposedly happened myself. Okay, so... I feel like we've talked about most of the major drop okay, points. So now gonna, okay, so now you're gonna... Alright. So, I know you're gonna say you won, but... I'm not gonna say I, I won, it's just a discussion, dog. There's no winners or losers. The people that agreed with me... Okay. The people that agreed with me before coming to this still agree with me, and the people that agreed with you probably still agree with you coming to this. There's not much that these discussions really do. I mean, I don't, I'm not looking well, for like a... Were talking to me. I got a bunch of subscribers to my Twitch, so that's okay. Oh, well, that's good. <laughs> I do uh, think that it's interesting, that. though, that I, I feel like I held my conversation against you pretty well. Um, I don't I think, think I sounded like a faggot. I don't think that I <laughs> felt bad and cried and let you win because oh, I have to no, check my no, privilege. No, 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 no. Don't read my poem. Okay, yeah, no, I just wanted to, yeah, I think... <laughs> I was I don't know who you are okay? okay I didn't know who you were and when I think about leftists I often think of people who are like about the people just, presented oh my, to you on poll just sure fucking hang my penis at the door and uh fucking kill myself because I'm so sad of my privilege and um so that was obviously was not the case um I just really hope that I don't lose my job because of this um <laughs> Yeah. All right. Well, anyway. I had fun. Thank you. I appreciate the conversation. Yeah. Thank you. It was actually really fun. Yeah. Good luck in your PhDs and your teaching and your streaming memes. All right. All right. Thanks. Have fun. Bye. -bye. I think this was a mistake, guys. <laughs> It's actually a friendly, cordial chat. She just lied about it. At no point does Destiny ever dox her. And I realized back then that this thing upon which she managed to garner so much attention, the claim that she was doxed by Destiny, is nothing but a lie. And this here, this is the main thing that all the eunuchs in Shining Armor overlook. The attention part. What Aiden Paladin is doing is done specifically to garner their attention. Aiden has been around for a while, driven by that urge to be the YouTube princess that she wants to be. Fame by whatever avenue possible, starting off with social justice, demanding people's privilege points for being Jewish. Endless posts about the supposed illnesses that she suffers under, from anorexia to PTSD to whatever else. Back when my fucking legs worked, I don't have any feeling in my leg. I'm in a fucking wheelchair now, so you wanna fuck with me? Oh, imagine how that gonna look in court for you, honey bear. Jesus Christ. It's a miracle! When she got banned from those places, she tried a career as a SoundCloud rapper. So tell me what you see when you sit across from me, staring into the eyes of the devil from the chimney. A TKO in 20 terms, who says this guy in me? He's defeated land awards and they call me BOPs. See, if you dare to vindicate and take money from me, I'll get my card advantage and you'll top deck redundancy. That failed somehow. I don't know why. That beautiful voice. And my imps and my flyers and my guns, 26 time with for the love. Men for love. Men for love. How on earth did that career fall on its fucking face? I don't know. She then tried being a comic book review channel. Hello and welcome to Wrecked Wednesday, the only show on YouTube that combines comic books with copious amounts of alcohol. Vikings doing Vikingly things. All types of Viking-ish shenanigans. And by Viking shenanigans, I mean raping and pillaging. There's a lot of raping and pillaging. Some people who enjoy anime are about Japan. To all my viewers in Iceland, Svefnokvin Minfuller. Uh, Batman, Spider-Man Avengers. I think we're done. We're done. It's over. To bande dessinée, consumation de alcool. Yeah, this guy is Mel Gibson. 
Slurring her words and barely understandable as her gimmick was, Hey, I make my videos so drunk you can barely understand the fucking word I'm saying. Then went on to cosplay, which didn't end up working either. Some may say that they would smash, others would say that they would smash after they smashed her face in. Either way, no fame or money was apparently to be found in dress-up games. So she ended up here, in this corner of YouTube, claiming to make researched content while actually producing shit like this. But Chul talks about the having the Sony TPSL2 in Ground Zero that wouldn't exist for four years. I suppose you could argue that it's because they have special fucking, I don't know, <laughs> um, uh, uh, PMC technology. You have to understand that research is what she lives for and that she would never, ever lie about her credentials. I actually have a, a doctoral or half of a doctoral degree. I have master's degrees and I have you don't. been any ability for my ability to ever work in a doctoral field again so i know for you you don't give a shit i would be more than happy though to be you don't have a phd i am working on the phd i have a no you're not working on a phd i am yes i am you quit I your position to live off youtube shekels i will continue after you claimed PhD. That I got you fired, even though you quit that stuff yourself. My school was called, and I lost my job. So why the fuck do you... Why, Evidence. Why one, I, Evidence, because shortly before the drama, you went to Patreon to exclaim that you're about to quit your job and live off YouTube. Find the evidence because there is no such thing that I went to Patreon and said I was going to quit my job because that's a complete lie. I'm I'm a complete fucking honest person. I you are the as single as most dishonest person I have ever encountered. That's the funniest part about all of this. She didn't find her eunuchs anywhere else. She didn't find those willing to sacrifice their scrotums to her bollocks necklace in the social justice community through drunk comic book rants, through complaining about illnesses, or by singing. She found them here, in this corner of YouTube, where there apparently is enough thirst for her, because you need to understand she isn't just any kind of princess. Theology research. And he had been working on it for years, but the, the Mormons, I don't know who, I forget which service this is, Ancestry.com or something? Uh, somebody. They did a, he, he paid them a bunch of money to go f figure out my family's history. They traced my family's back to William Shakespeare's sister. And uh, there's been tons of research done on William Shakespeare's family. So basically, when you got a printout of the entire family tree, which they traced back through um, Shakespeare's it's sister, a Viking woman. when they trace it back through through Shakespeare's sister, some Viking raped, you know, one of them at some point, mm. and uh, uh, it basically says at the top of my family tree because at some point it becomes uh, mythical. It says your forty fifth great grandfather is Odin, king of Asgard, and I said, "Holy shit, <laughs> that's fucking awesome!" You know. <laughs> Uh, and so I, I had been trying to be religious. Fuck, G. Oh, your mic, Jay. 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 That's them. Are it was going, the yeah. battery. Like, I wasn't my dick going Nobody off, I did. promise. We get a, we get a mute you for a second. Okay. God damn. Uh, All right. So, r real quick, real what quick. What was I saying? Oh, yeah. So I, uh, I thought that was the coolest shit I had ever seen in my entire life. It's like, holy. It's like, yeah, motherfucker. It's like my forty-fifth great granddad's <laughs> Odin, and uh, I just started reading the Adas, the you know the poetic Adas, what exists and is still left of the original um, religion of which there's not. Hello. And. And uh, I just thought, okay, I had been trying to be religious for a while because I was really sick at the time. And I just thought oh, this would be, I I'd read the research on it that said, you know, people who are religious are happier, they're, they're sick, they feel better. And, and I felt better. I felt, I still feel better. Like when I'm in a really shitty place, I, um, I talk to Freya. She is descendant from a Norse god. The Jew daughter of Odin came to this corner of YouTube to recruit her eunuchs. The reason why she never received any attention in her previous bids for it is simply because she is fucking boring. There is not a single interesting thing about her. So she tries to spice it up by whatever means possible. By talking about all the PhDs and master's degrees that she doesn't have. Talking about her wheelchair that doesn't exist. And bragging about her genealogy of being descendant from a Norse god.
Best of all, in the years before and in the communities before, her bullshit was laughed at. But in the so-called skeptic community and the blood sports community, a woman who was apparently doxxed by 15 different people in various different occasions is wheelchair-bound whilst standing up and is descended from a Norse God is apparently legit. And as she tried in the past to get attention by all means necessary and doing the weirdest and most childish things possible, she did this in the stream where she revealed her identity. Nice porn, right? Now, I can't show this in this video uncensored. In fact, this is illegal in most countries outside of Japan. Let me read the tags of what she streamed herself watching. Group. I guess there is no need for an explanation. Lolicon. That's Japanese cartoon child porn with underage girls. Anal. No explanation needed. Shotokon. That's Japanese cartoon child porn with underage boys. Tankubon. Means it's part of a series. Futanari. Girls with dicks. Impregnation. Inflation, bestiality, stomach deformation, monster girl, dick girl on male, prostate massage, transformation, dog, eggs, insect girl, spider girl, multiple arms. Nice porn, right? She streamed herself watching cartoons of two underage boys sucking each other off and then getting ass fucked by a trap and a dog. A dog. Nice porn, right? Now, some of you, I guess Aiden's fans and her alt-right white knights and the band of eunuchs always around there, well, to them, there might be nothing wrong here. To them, this might just be a kink. How how dare you fucking kink shame here? Others, including myself, would however say... <laughs> dog. Dog. <laughs> I did not need to see this. I really did not. It's almost like a trap. She can get away with claiming that everyone doxxed her because if you try to find out who really revealed her identity, you end up at that stream and consequently scarred for fucking life. Weirdest of all, she later confirmed that this is the kind of shit she is into. Other than me liking lolly pornography, I don't know. But if she thinks that this is the only interesting thing about her, she should have probably kept it to herself. But more revealing is what happened after the Worski stream. You remember, the one I mentioned at the beginning of the video. The one which started this entire mess. Which dragged her into the drama around me when she lied about me doxing her and pretending to cry on stream. What people didn't know is that five minutes after that stream, she called me on Skype and I recorded that call, which reveals her intentions. I don't have time for this drama nonsense. It, well, let me tell you a couple things. One, you are literally the drama. Yeah, I'm drunk. Whatever. You're not gonna get away from from me. Ouch, you are in a- you are in an echo chamber. My point is I've always tried to help you. The fact of the matter is, I, I'm trying to help you as a fucking person. Oh, Kraut, you're psychologically disturbed. I can tell, because I, I I gave you a psychological analysis four months ago. I'm a woman, my dude. I'm a woman, my dude. I see that you're suffering. You are suffering on levels you may not even be uh, cognizant of. So am I not allowed to be your psychologist? What, do I, what, what can I tell you that would be really embarrassing and awful? Other than me liking lolly pornography, I don't know. Oh, no, stop! Kraut, Kraut! I'm actually trying to help you, you piece of shit. I'm actually trying to be your friend. Kraut, you piece of shit. I'm fucking trying to be your friend. Oh my god, this is because you've got so many psychological hang-ups. Let me tell you, my dude. You are psychologically fucked. You have to get time away from YouTube. I'm telling you right now. Because you are disturbed and it's not in a normal way, okay? Dude. You don't have to tell me about unhealthy things in my psychology. Especially. I know! I know especially I don't! considering that you're not crying anymore. Well, you kind of really hurt my feelings, you little faggot! Do you understand this? Literally, everyone despises you at this point. Everyone hates you. Everyone wants you to be gone from this platform. No one else will come out and be honest to you. Yeah, they're not going to be, my baby. They're not going to be. And I know that I'm not at your level, but I've got 50,000 subscribers. Okay? I'm not ignorable anymore. And the fact of the matter is, everyone, I'm telling you- Everyone is ignorable. Uh, well, okay, scary. sure, great for you. Okay, who does not- who does not completely despise you and want you to be gone? 
uh, or who will not want you to be gone by tomorrow? Oof. Jeff Holiday? Who else might might not want to be totally disgusted by you right now? You are talking to a psychologist, unfortunately. And I'm at 50,000 subs, which means that you can't ignore me anymore. What do you mean I'm besties with- you anymore. I mean, you can ignore me if you like, but I was just on fucking Worski. She has 50,000 subscribers, guys. You can't ignore her anymore. You need to give the little princess the attention and patron money that she seeks. However, in all seriousness, the problem with what she did is that, in the end, eight months later, it's probably funny as fuck looking at it when all the shit she lied about unravels and her lies are all over the boards for everyone to see. However, at the time, eight months ago, when the same people who now laughed at her believed her when she claimed that we were doxing her, her lies back then had severe consequences for us. As I said before in other videos, accusing us of doxing had severe consequences for all of us. It gave the eunuch knights, the alt-right and others justification to do to us however they pleased. It gives justification to disregard people and throw them into the trash and therefore treat them like trash. One of the first things I did when finding out that when she accused Destiny of doxing her it was nothing but a lie was contact him and apologize because by believing that lie I had helped spread it. I knew that the guy for a very long time was known as nothing but that guy who had doxed Aiden. And when talking about him, I talked of him as that guy who had doxed Aiden. I treated him like trash because of a lie. Her lies had direct consequences and she didn't even fucking care because in the end it got her a few thousand patrons subscribers and views more and when she started getting called out for it she thought she could wave it aside by screeching at us to move on and that pathetic fucking non-apology I have to disappoint all the eunuch knights at the end. There is no evil dragon for your pathetic, thirsty, better existence to slay. No evil doxer who doxed her at any given time anywhere. She just lied so that you would don your shiny armor for her and save her from nothing while you stuff her pockets with patron money. But don't fret. Keep giving her your balls and she might invite you in, give you a hug, give you a kiss, to slip into her bed and dress and then... Dress up as a schoolboy and get fucked by a dog. <laughs>